Here's my second commercial project in Blender, and here's how I made it. So I've accidentally become a full-time VFX artist as of late, and I've had some new clients reach out. And this week it was Press Play Media on YouTube. So first things first was to track the scene in After Effects. Then I painted out using Photoshop's AI Gen Fill, tracking our clean plate back in, and rotoring our subject for this. Then brought the track into Blender. My mate Levi found this model on Mixamo and rigged it for me to do the most fun part of the job, which is to match move the medic into the footage. Then I modeled the mic and textured it, animated its flying path, and now we use the match move we made before and the mic for physics reactors for our smoke sim. Import the smoke and then animate in some lightning cards once the mic hits, and then comp inside of After Effects for a change. And then realize After Effects can't cut it as a comp tool as much as something else I'll be using later. So for the second shot, I had to make a massive fly-in sequence. So naturally, the first thing is modeling the landscape using a mix of mega scans, two kilometer wide textures, and geo nodes to generate the sand dunes. Then I grab the mic, clouds, logos, and camera, and then animate them all in. Then bounce everything over to Embergen, once again for the smoke sim, then some geo nodes for the lightning, and then it was off to the scariest part of all, comping in Nuke. Something I've avoided using for years because I once failed a class in university trying to learn how to use Nuke. But it was actually really straightforward and easy to use, coming back to it. So firstly, it was layering in our multi-EXR sequence with this pipeline that adds glow, bloom, lens artifacts like chromatic aberration, vignette, and distortion, and all the secret sauce in between. And then you get this, my second commercial job in Blender.